Hi, I'm Kim with Woodland Scenics. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to color tunnel portals, retaining walls and culverts with Earth Colors Liquid Pigments. Earth Colors Liquid Pigments are unique colorants and natural earth tones. They're designed to mix and blend with each other. With several pigments available, many combinations can be created to color your tunnels, retaining walls and culverts any way you want. While several different coloring methods and color combinations can be used, a method that's easy is selecting a color consistent with the type of material you want your piece to resemble, such as a brown color for timber and using it over the whole piece, followed by random spots of the same color to add depth, and then black to accent the cracks and crevices. Now let's go ahead and set up for our demonstration. You can color your pieces before or after installation. For this demonstration, I'm going to color my pieces before installing them. The pieces I've chosen are concrete culverts, a random stone retaining wall, and a timber tunnel portal. For the pigments, I've chosen concrete for my concrete culvert, stone gray for my random stone retaining wall, burnt umber for my timber tunnel portal, and I'll be accenting them all with black. Earth Colors liquid pigments come heavily concentrated, so the first step is to dilute them with water to create washes. The more water, the lighter the color, and the more pigment, the more intense the color. I'm going to use a ratio of one part pigment to 16 parts water for all my washes. Let's begin by applying the concrete wash to our culvert. Brush the wash over all the pieces, making sure to coat all the white. Wait for them to dry slightly and then apply the wash in random areas to add depth to the color. For the retaining wall, we're going to use the same steps we used with the culverts, but we're going to use the stone gray wash. Cover the entire piece, let it dry slightly, and then apply a second coat of stone gray wash in just a few areas. Again, the process is the same for the tunnel portal. Brush on a coat of burnt umber wash, letting it dry before adding another layer in a few areas to add depth. Another great way to add realism to your tunnel portal is to add a bit of black to the top portion of the tunnel to resemble smoke from a train. Apply small amounts at a time of black wash to the top portion and the inside of the tunnel until you achieve the look of smoke. Now that our pieces have dried, we're going to spray them with scenic cement. This will lock in the color and seal it for our final coat of black. Now that the scenic cement is dry, I'm going to coat all my pieces, allowing the black to flow into the cracks and crevices to accent them, giving another element of realism. Once the black wash is dried, finish with a final coat of scenic cement to prevent fading. As you can see, there are many more ways to color your portals, retaining walls, and culverts with Earth Colors liquid pigments to get the look you're trying to achieve for your model. If you'd like to find out more information on modeling or more videos using Woodland Scenics products, visit us at woodlandscenics.com.